it was like, look, this is a fight to finish. For Nana Akufuado, it was like, this is my last time. The next time, if I want to contest in the next four years, I'm going to be 75, 76, which my health, which I might not be in the best position. And for Mahama John, it was unfortunate that his principal died. You know, that's why when I was talking about similarities, it was like a good luck, Jonathan. He had to finish the race of Professor Atamil before he recontested in 2012. That represented his first term. This would have represented his second, his second term. term. What did he do? Massive infrastructural development. When I say massive, when you enter Accra now, right now, Accra is just like Little London. Wow. We spent close to a week there and, you know, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of lights, the light did not not blink. All right, but if, if, if that's the case, where you, you we have a picture painted in our minds of uh, John Mahama doing all of that, yeah. then why did he lose the election? Yes, we call that tyranny of the majority. Mm. That was what happened in Nigeria in 2015. Okay. So, you see, that message of change spreads like wildfire. All right. Anywhere they are talking about change, whether it is a well-articulated change or not, but people just wanted change for the sake of change. Don't, don't forget, these people want a break away from NDC's government. Which has ruled for eight years. Yes. And, and that's been the antecedent yes. of Ghana, really. No mm -hmm. party rules for they want a long time. Yeah. Three consecutive terms. Before, before we have Charlotte Osi as the, um, as the uh, uh, Electoral Commission um, chairperson, we used to have one man they call Afari Gyang. And Afari Gyang supervised the election that you saw and uh, President John Kufo winning, coming, uh, winning and uh, coming back it was Rollins from Rollins to Kufo, from Kufo went to Atamils. Okay. So this is the trajectory. But these people are saying that we know it touched the road. We know it developed infrastructure massively. We know the man is trying, but we don't have money in our pockets. We don't have food <laughs> to eat. We can't be dying of hunger. Why is developing Ghana? It's not. He's not servicing us. Talking about There's similarities. There's no stomach infrastructure. I, is, is this, yes. Are you ringing the bell very close to home right now? Talking about Defin uh, what is going on in the country. Definitely, today. definitely. <laughs> Look, you see, it's just that their own. They've not gotten to where. They've not crossed.